Today we're in Cottonwood, Alabama, assisting the Cottonwood Police Department in the rescue of more than 50 dogs uh, from a suspected hog dog operation. Well, right now on the property we have a lot of dogs that are extremely emaciated. Um, you have anything ranging from puppies to adult dogs. Um, we're noticing a lot of medical challenges here and with the weather that's been going on, it's ideal that we get these dogs removed from here as soon as possible and into some medical care. It just looks like they really need our help. I don't know if you can hear his breathing, but poor guy. He's definitely in distress. You can feel his breathing is very raspy. He's old, and so we're gonna get him taken care of right now. I mean, I would consider this extremely egregious considering the number of dogs and the overwhelming lack of care of these animals. I mean, it's just pitiful. Th these animals really are in what appear to be a long-term state of neglect. Even the puppies, I doubt that they've been fed probably in the last few weeks, if not more. We saw what appeared to be six or seven of these dogs that are using that car as a primary means of shelter. Come on, pumpkin. Here's your bride. How are you? Well, they've got nowhere to go but up. Um, I think that by the end of today, they will be in direct contact with humans whose priority is to make them feel safe, to make them feel comfortable. The veterinarians that we have on scene and the veterinarians standing ready to accept them at their final destination are prepared to do whatever it takes to ensure that they live the life they deserve to have. The future looks really bright for these guys. Um, I mean, every time we do one of these raids, yeah. pulling these dogs out, getting them the medical help they need, and then finding them a home, that's our ultimate goal.